Hey you guys and welcome back to episode 11 of Skip to Lofa where we have the big school festival to look forward to which I think is going to be overall really fun as well as be a big moment for a lot of characters so I definitely can't wait to see how they'll play out for everyone so without further ado let us get into things He's popular in the story. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what? They work. <laughs> yeah, no, like, hate on him, but. Not much of a big deal. Yeah, that's why. Shima. I wonder if Shima pictures um kind of dance for me he did well. Mika Yabara My mama Well done, was that the first most popular well done? Oh I love how makers got so close to now. Or friends? <laughs> oh it would have been nice if I felt like they could have made the trip up. I'm, I'm sure they had work and like, you know, like, but yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Yuzuki! Shibon! I didn't know Yuzuki was a artist. Into art. Mm. Is she gonna hit on right now? Yes. Oh. Fifth guy, sorry, make a line, peoples. Yeah, I was gonna say at least praise her art with sincerity. I think that's pretty on it. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> but Yusuke's been through a lot herself. Yeah, everyone truly does their own, have their own issues. <laughs> Perfect Zari. Oh. What a beautiful moment of their friendship. And someone that compliments your art with sincerity. Maltese? Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah, I mean, you all are. <laughs> I, like, love this friend group. This is, like, the best, I think, friendship group I've ever seen done in an anime. I especially love what they've developed with Yuzuki and um, Kurumi. Six, only six months, it really does it. <laughs> Oh, Yusuke is really on like cloud nine as well. Because I don't think she's had like a genuine friendship like this either. <gasps> Skip to Lifer! <laughs> they didn't do the title drop, they literally did the title. <laughs> is this a girl from before?
She reminds me a lot of um, Takamine Senpai. A little kindness picks you up. Such a simple thing. <laughs> a little kindness. <laughs> Oh, Chris! Hype and excitement. Oh, so Rilika found her. Oh, Rilika. No, just kindly, just kindly, kindly, ever so kindly. Just fuck off. <laughs> just stay away from this moment, please. Is that not Mama Shima? It is Mama Shima. <laughs> I love the outfit. Damn, Shima is gone. <laughs> Shima, I don't think you really have a choice. You know that. What's your end game? Oh, no, do we ask too much of a big question? Yeah, I mean, you don't necessarily have to chase the end game. I think Hanei Chi Senpai is a very good example of someone that just loves what they do and is willing to do like anything and everything for it. Is this a little okay? Okay. No, 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 no. He stayed in the area, right? Nope. Oh no. Oh, what the Mama Shima. Oh no, okay. One tree. <laughs> One tree. Oh, smart. Aren't you a smart cookie? At least he remembered one tree, and luckily that's our class. Oh no. Oh, does it make me know the penguin? Yes! She's my cat. I'm tree! <laughs> Wait, you're three? How are you not? Crying. Uh huh. I love how we're more panicked. The little K. No, it's just absolute steel. And luckily, I think K has like the school kind of vibes to like distract him. Oh, he's a debt collector, that's why. Not quite the look I was expecting from Shira, but he did watch. Yeah? Was that a compliment? That was weird. And did she say that? Yeah, little tree. Absolute trooper. He's usually so timid. Really? Oof. I mean, they do have a big age gap. Oh, yes. So that's why he felt like an outsider. I think Kay would really like you, Shima. You didn't even like invite your mom or expect her to come come. But you guys were so close when you were younger. What happened? One tree. <laughs> what a good 
first introduction of your mother-in-law? <laughs> I'm joking. Breathe, it's me, breathe. Breathe air, you need air and water. <laughs> okay, he's such a little trooper. Did you know like she was oh no he was scared I was just holding it in you better to consider for better or worse runs away when they cross paths stares at him from afar you guys are brothers to consider for better or worse Mm, a little okay. Aren't we glad that Mitsumi convinced you must have given that keychain? It's a really fine school. We're really fine people. <laughs> Rika, Rika, sit down. Sit down. <gasps> Do they know each other? Of course. Yeah, of course, I feel like they would know each other. What does that mean? Ooh, how will that... I did not expect Ridika and Shima's mom to meet. How... How? What, I feel like they have a lot to kind of like let out, talk about. I don't know. Or maybe they don't. Maybe does Shima's mom know what's going on? I'm going to go with no because it looks like Shima has been like kind of out of like the whole family situation. So I feel like Shima's mom wouldn't know kind of what's up with Ridika and her blackmailing Shima and all that drama. So yeah, definitely a lot to spill there. And also yeah, a lot going on with this episode as well. I guess the Kanichika set empire. I did not expect us to actually dive into a bit of that in regards to like his play, his goal, because I guess they do kind of tie in with what kind of Shima is facing and experiencing. And also this episode, I just absolutely loved Yuzuki and Konami's Momo. I also really want to focus a bit more on Konami's character because I think she is a really fantastically done character. Character. and I've definitely been loving like seeing her growth and so that's why this moment when she kind of thought back to her first moment with Yuzuki so she kind of helps like overcome that barrier with her middle school friend because Kurumi saw her old self within like her middle school friends so that's why that moment where like Kurumi was also the only one that really truly knew about like Yuzuki's love for her dog like Chiffon and how much like heart and soul she put into her artwork that was a genuine compliment you know to Yuzuki who also has a passion for art you know, someone that recognizes and appreciates your passion, I think, really defines like a relationship. And so that's why that was such a wholesome moment for me. And I just love that moment. It just spoke like a thousand words to that just one moment together, especially another moment was when Yusuke was like, it really doesn't feel like we've only known each other for six months. And that's truly how it was, especially with that scene with all four of them going off in their individual like direction. That was such a brief moment, but I thought that was such a strong moment as well. Just representing truly like how individually uniquely different all of them are for expressed through like the four individual pathways but once they come together it's just like a friendship that all just like kind of clicks and comes together so beautifully and i think it's just through their like mutual kind of care understanding love and that's why i say you know quite a bold statement of how i think this is like the best like girl friendship group i've seen in a while without like any drama to progress things there has definitely been like conflicts but, you know it hasn't been like the petty drama i feel like a lot of kind of like girl friendship tropes portray this and that's why i especially appreciate this friendship group and just the way it's been like infused within the story of Skip to Lofa as it progresses with like you know Mitsumi and Shima's kind of relationship as well. So yeah I know we have one more episode left but I do wonder how indeed they plan on like wrapping things up for the season one. I am really hoping we do get a season two if there's maybe enough material. They definitely feel like there's still a lot of story to tell. Yeah I guess with that season finale next week. Definitely can't wait for it at the same time gonna be a little bit sad but I guess until then make sure you guys are awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next week.